Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video we will be discussing panels. So let's get started. So this report is a regional sales report. It shows regions, the quantity, and the sales. Now typically in the past if we wanted to see say a different orientation or a different perspective on this data we, we could add a, a new attribute. So if I wanted segment on this report, one of the things I could do is just go down, grab segment, bring it up, and replace uh, region in the Dropbox, and that would give me segment. But really, that's a little onerous if you want to just come in, take a look at what's going on with your business. I don't want to have to interact with it as that much. So I'm going to go ahead and back out. So now I'm back down to my original report that I had, and my title, Regional Sales. And I'm going to create a whole new report. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go up to the shortcut bar and click on Insert Visualization. Now notice that when I did that, it created a whole new visualization below my regional sales visualization. Um, just to let you know, sometimes these visualizations may show up to the right or to the left. It's all depending on how you actually created your last visualization. The first thing I want you to notice is that when I created this visualization, the editor um, now has no information in the rows, columns, or metrics. That's because the focus is on this particular visualization. Notice the blue box that surrounds the visualization. If I come up here to the original visualization and click on it, the regional sales, notice that region and then the two metrics that I have on my report did in fact show up in the editor window on the drop zone. So the editor is context sensitive. So the context here is I'm on regional sales, so therefore I see the regional sales objects. And if I go to the new visualization, I'll see those objects. So I'm going to go and build this report from scratch. And I'm going to go, since this is a segment report, I'm going to grab segment and drag that into the rows. And I'm going to drag quantity into metrics. And I'm going to drag sales into metrics as well. So now I have my report. I'm going to change the name of the visualization. And the last thing I want to do is I want to show you that this doesn't have to be a grid visualization. So I'm going to turn on my visualization panel and I'm going to change this to a bar chart. So as you can see, I could have a visualization, a grid, and then a graph. I can add visualizations as I need them, whether they be uh, graphical or whether they be standard grid. One of the things I want you to notice is that I, I have focus on the, um, the bar chart visualization. And notice that the um, editor has changed again. So again, context uh, sensitive. So the context of a bar graph is different than the context of a grid. So there are different drop zones for a graph than there are for a grid. And I think that's actually pretty cool. But we'll get into that in a later video. For now, I'm going to switch back to a, a grid and turn off my gallery. So now I have two visualizations and I want to add a third. To do that, I'm going to do it a little differently than I did previously. I'm going to come up here to the ellipsis and click on that. And I'm going to go down and click on Duplicate. Notice that now I duplicated regional sales and that was now that new report, or that new visualization was placed at the bottom and is called region sales copy. Now I want to change the region sales to category and to do that I'm going to go and do something just a little bit different. So in the past we've pulled and dragged things into the uh, drop zones or we drug them onto the report and then deleted what we didn't want. But in this case I'm going to use the down arrow and I'm going to go sorry the down arrow and go replace with. And in this case I'm going to add category. And so now category is it, the attribute on this report. And I'm going to change 
the title. And now I have my three reports that I wanted for my dashboard. Except that they're really not in the place where I want them. I want to move them around. So what I want to do is I want to move category sales up next to region sales. I want those two together. So I'm going to take my mouse and left click and hold on my category sales title. I'm going to drag that up and notice that there's a blue line to the left of regional sales. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could place them between regional sales and segment sales. Notice the blue line is there. But again, I want to put them to the left of regional sales. So I go take it where the blue line is and I let it drop. Now I have a report that has category sales in the upper left, regional sales in the upper right, and on the lower half of canvas I have segment sales. Just some things I can do um, if I want to take the category sales and I want to move it and now notice the blue line goes completely north to south vertical line on the left hand side. If I drop it here now that category sales takes up half of my um, canvas and my regional sales and segment sales are on the right hand half and they each take up a quarter width of the space. One of the things you have to be careful of is things get moved in the interface quite a bit. Uh, that's because this the moving of these uh, visualizations is very sensitive. So if for instance you click on something uh, and you accidentally just move it slightly just like that things get moved to where you didn't want them. Just keep in mind it's easy to get back. Just go up to the undo and it'll move it back to where it belongs. Um, if you try and move it back to where you had it and get it resized, not going to work. But if you use the undo, it'll put it back exactly where it was. Hopefully you found this video useful. 